March 13, 2024. Suspension of Ninji hasn't addressed vital issues in allegation, Peter Obi tells Senate. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, said the suspension of Senator Abdul Ninji by the Senate has not addressed vital issues in the allegation of the lawmaker. Obi stated this in a statement via his X handle on Wednesday. According to him, the fuss over the alleged 3 trillion naira padded into the 2024 budget still rages, as the Senate's reaction of suspending the whistleblower has not addressed vital issues emanating from the allegation. He said, the senator is insisting on his allegation, and the executive agreed that there was only an 1.2 trillion padded, not 3 trillion naira, as alleged by the senator. Fresh allegations have also cropped up over the indiscriminate and unbalanced allocation of constituency projects by the Senate leadership. A civic society group, Budget, through their officials, has also added their voice to agree with the Senator. They allege that there were no detailed project allocations for about 3.7 trillion naira in the 2024 Appropriation Act. As the Senate suspension of the Senator involved has not addressed the issue, they still owe the Nigerian public a clear clarification over the various claims and counterclaims, including that of the executive arm, to be able to know exactly what is happening, and also disclose to the public the exact amounts allocated for constituency projects for appropriate monitoring of implementation by the public. I had particularly elucidated in my earlier comment on what we can use the 3 trillion naira to achieve by showing that it is more than the national budget of the two most critical components of the Human Development Index, health and education, combined. Obi further stated, now that the executive arm has accepted that the padded amount is only 1.2 trillion naira, it is still a very significant amount when you consider that it is almost five times the 251.47 billion naira proposed for universal basic education, which is the foundation of education in the country. Today in Nigeria, the greatest challenge to human resource development is education, which has been identified as most critical at the basic level. The Labour Party candidate said Nigeria has about 20 million out-of-school children today because of the poor investment in education, adding that these are resources that would have been utilized to ensure that our children are taken off the streets and returned to schools. He said the 1.2 trillion naira, which the executive branch admitted to have been padded, if channeled into any of the critical areas of development, could have positively impacted the nation and uplifted the people. Obi said, and if indeed the report from budget is true, that there is about 3.7 trillion naira without any detailed project allocations. I strongly urge the Senate to do more detailed work of channeling these funds into the critical areas of development, education, health and pulling people out of poverty, which will in turn minimize the criminality we are facing today. We must, as a matter of urgency, put a stop to all the wastage of our scarce resources amid the excruciating hardship in the country. Let every penny of our public funds be used for public good. That is the only way to achieve the new Nigeria we are working towards. Po. Recall that the 2024 budget has been a subject of controversy, with Ninji alleging that the Senate padded the 2024 budget to the tune of 3.7 trillion naira. Ninji, in an interview with BBC Hausa, claimed that the federal government is operating two versions of the 2024 budget and that the 28.7 trillion naira budget passed and signed into law by President Tinubu was skewed against the North. At the resumed plenary on Tuesday, the Red Chamber, under the leadership of Senate President Godswillak Pabio, suspended Senator Ninji. Abdul Ninji's interview with BBC House Service had sparked all the controversy after it accused the Senate and by extension the National Assembly of approving a 25 trillion naira budget while the federal government was implementing another budget valued at 28.7 trillion naira. Senate on Tuesday officially confronted Ningi over his claims as amplified by another Senator Suleiman Kau. The move created a chain of reactions 
exposing awesome. oozing cans of worms. Send it with a better kept secret. Senator Adiola Olamileko from Open West, who supervised the budget as chairman of Senate Appropriations Committee, brought up the matter before the Senate on the grounds that his privilege has been badly bruised by the action of Senator Mingi, calling on the Senate to wield the big stick on him. As chairman chairing the Senate Committee on Appropriation, who actively participated in the preparation of this document, and for what has transpired within the last three days, my privilege has been breached. Senator Joel Thomas Onawapo from Delta State supported the motion to confront Senator Ningi and he found guilty. He should be punished for painting the Senate in bad light. The statement by distinguished Senator Ningi Abdul, PDP Baoshi Central, the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum, in some sections of the media, that the 2024 budget was padded to the tune of three trillion and that the executive was implementing a different budget from what was passed by the National Assembly is not only very presumptuous, it is scandalous and an attempt to incite the public against the National Assembly and the federal government. Senate then dissolved into a committee of the whole armed with the transcribed English version of Ningi's interview, Alam Lekon went to work to dismantle Ningi's claim, explaining that the three trillion naira he alluded to were actually statutory budgets of agencies on first line charge, the details of which are not usually captured in the national budget documents. Agencies such as one, the judiciary. The judiciary budget details is not contained in this document. Two, the National Assembly. The National Assembly budget details is not contained in this document. And it's no new thing. I have here a copy of the last three budget that was passed. 2021, 2022, 2023. All the details of these agencies I've mentioned are not contained in this document. Nengi came prepared with heaps of documents. He hopes to prove his point, but he had no answers to Alam Lekon's revelations. He also did not deny making reference to two separate budgets, one with 25 trillion naira and another with 28.7 trillion naira, when confronted by the President of the Senate, Goswil Apabio. Instead, Ningi veered into the innermost secrets of the Senate, exposing dirtiest leanings and throwing even more allegations, especially about disparity in constituency allowances of Senators. We discovered some senatorial districts in this particular document some senatorial districts have up to 120 billion and my senatorial district has just 2 billion senator jaribe agam jaribe's follow-up statement that some senators received as much as 500 million naira for constituency projects added fuel to the burning flames in the senate if we want to go into those issues all of us are called people. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator, I didn't get. Did I go to the press? Most of you got. And yes, if we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes. So I think that, I think that, I think that Senator Ningi, Senator Ningi. From that moment on, total commotion, absolute confusion reigned in the Senate, forcing the Senate President Apabio on his feet in a frantic attempt to call the Senators to order. The dust finally settled and Jaribe clarified on the issue he had earlier raised. I was drawing from the statement Abdul Ningi made to me. He came to me to say there were discrepancies in the budget. And I said, let's go and see the Senate President. We went together. The Senate President told him to bring details. And that was the last I heard of it. But he told me that as a senior senator, he got extra 500 million in the budget. And I'm saying that he's not supposed to be the one to come here to speak the way he is speaking or go to the press. Senate subsequently returned to the motion against Ningi and Senator Kawu who had become an accessory in the matter, 
for helping to spread Ningi's false allegation about the budget on the WhatsApp platform of Northern Senators Forum. At this point, it had become clear that Senator Ningi was fast sinking and needed to be saved. Frantic efforts by Senator Ali Ndume to find Ningi a soft landing failed, with Senator Opemi Bamideli describing Ningi and Kawu's actions as civilian coup against the Pabio and calling on the Senate to sanction both men. What my big brother, distinguished Senator Abdul Ningi, who I respect so well, planned to do or set out to do was tantamount to a civilian coup which has failed. And in doing this, he wanted to use the platform of Northern Senators Forum. But it was Senator Jimo Ibrahim that pulled the trigger when he asked the Senate to slam Ningi with 12 months suspension and caution Kau. Suspend his entitlement and privileges as Senator of the 10th Assembly or 10th Senate and make him stay away from the National Assembly during the period of suspension. The prayer to suspend Ningi was eventually relaxed three months with the possibility of being waived if he tenders an unresolved written apology to the Senate. The Senate hereby places distinguished Senator Abdul Ningi on suspension in respect of his vituperations, falsehood, and unverified report in the, in the BBC interview including other media or, or houses. Ningi's suspension takes immediate effect. And there was a sergeant at arms standing by to enforce his exit from the chamber and out of the National Assembly complex. Omo Bazwai, The Rise News. Thanks for tuning in to Smart Okason TV show. Keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop getting the latest information happening around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to keep the intellect flowing. Until next time, keep sharpening and be smart.